Welcome to another edition of Health Matters. I am Anna Marie Sinatra from Sinatra Solutions, your business development coach and consultant, and your host of Health Matters. And I am so excited because I have some amazing information for you about an upcoming event. So I hope you have your pens and papers ready to go. And let's get those electronic uh, gadgets out because you want to plug in this website to get all the information about this amazing event. But before I tell you who it is, let's hear from our sponsors. Dent Neurologic Institute is proud to support Health Matters. Dent Neurologic Institute offers neurologic education, state-of-the-art diagnostics, and cutting-edge clinical research. If you or someone you know is looking for more information, visit our website at dentinstitute.com. I'm Dr. John Ziliox. I'm a chiropractor and New York State Board Certified Nutritionist and Dietitian who is happy to sponsor Health Matters. Together, we are informing the people of Western New York on how to improve their life both physically, nutritionally, and emotionally. Don't spend the last years of your life in a disability zone. Wellness is your best health insurance. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm Mitch from Pure Life Energy Saunas. And together, we are proud sponsors of Health Matters, a program that educates the community on how to be healthy, mind, body, and spirit. So follow us because your health matters. Wanted caretakers of Mother Earth, are you ready for clean air to breathe, pure water to drink, nutritious foods to eat? Then you'll join us at the second annual Eco Spirit Environmental Conference. And next to me, I have the co-founder, Bill Tenuto, as well as Mike Bastien, who is not a stranger to us. He is an author, healer, and elder of the Algonquin Nation, the Bear Clan. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, Anna Marie. Thanks, Anna Marie. It's an honor to be uh, here. Well, it's my honor. You know, Mike, I've been wanting you on this program for quite some time now, so I can't tell you how honored and excited I am that you're here, along with Bill, to tell us about this conference. So why don't we start with you, tell us a little bit about yourself and what this conference is all about. Well, we had the first uh, EcoSpirit Environmental Conference last year, and after that conference was over, many people who attended came up to me and told me how beautiful that conference was and how much they learned. So we decided to do another one this year. And that's uh, really the, uh, the basis for all of it. Uh, it'll be in Niagara Falls and coming up uh, in the summer. I am so excited about it because I was there last year and I did learn so much. You had so many wonderful speakers. Why don't you tell us about the theme of the conference so people can understand it a little bit more. You know, uh, about a year or so ago, a, a Dakota chief who I know uh, told me about a Native American prophecy and he said, the old ways will become the new ways uh. and the new ways will become the old ways. And what he was speaking about was the old way of life of the Native American people, the way they lived for thousands and thousands of years. And this conference is um, going to have mostly Native American speakers speaking there. And that's what they teach. They teach about these old ways. These will be traditional Native American men and women who understand these old ways and who know that these old ways really provide us with the solutions to the problems with our environment now. You know, and that is so, so true. It, many, many, many moons ago, I studied on the Tuscarora, as well as the Cataraugus um, Reservation with different teachers, and I was so heart-filled and learned so much. So that's why I'm so excited about this conference and with Mike, because whenever I hear that Mike Bastine is speaking, I am there. <laughs> so Mike, and Mike is the uh, MC of the event too, so. That's correct. Tell us a well, little bit about your participation in this, Mike. Thank you. Uh, what this is, it's the approach to how all of us should be responsible for interacting with on a daily basis, being aware of what our life is involved with that we do make a difference. Every single one of mm -hmm. us can make an impact on how we are living this life and being aware of how we're in 
actually interfering or not interfering with the function of this earth. So it has been attributed to the native people over time that they refer to us as the custodians. Yes. And in that duty of custodian, there's more things attached to it. It's not just something that says rake up the leaves or tidy up the yard. There's things with how much water we're using, what we're using it for, what we're dumping out into our yards or letting things out into the environment. So we need to be aware of those things along with, there are elements of spirituality that will come into this as being a factor. So it's not just uh, environmental, it's actually including how we interact with all of the elements in this creation. You know, Mike, that is just so beautiful. I'm almost teary hearing you say that. And when you're talking about that, I'm thinking about how many groups have erupted over the years, you know, environmental groups and all these little bits and pieces to bring back the whole picture which our native friends and already know. Yeah, and that's the part that we're trying to open up more to, to give the opportunity to, for people to come in and actually hear from not just the locals, these are people that are coming in from across the country. And they do, each region has a little bit different approach. And, and it's nice to hear that these are all on that, that same level of understanding, but they present it just a little differently. And it kind of perks everyone's interest. And we find out new ways of seeing or hearing these perceptions. And, and that's what's really exciting about it. That, that's exciting too, as you were saying too, when you visited, uh, where were you, out west? Yeah, in North Dakota and also South Dakota, yeah. And you were studying from the, or met these different elders? Met various elders, uh, was honored by uh, their inviting me to do ceremony with them and uh, have done that for many years. And you know, truly, the, uh, you know, in the Native American way, the old ways that we're talking about, there were no schools, there were no books. They learned from nature, they learned from their mothers and fathers, their grandpas and grandmas, their uncles and aunts. And that's how they learned, and yeah. that's how I've learned from them. Storytelling, Didn't, weren't we just talking about that earlier? A Telling absolutely. stories. It, it's entertaining at the same time as being educational. And we even go beyond just the entertainment part. We try to resonate at a much deeper level. We're, we're trying to approach to get to that heart of every human and connect with that to mm -hmm. say, we're all a part of this together. None of this separates us. It's those other elements that try to separate us, but we're saying, leave those behind, come on in here, and we're gonna help you understand how we can bring all that together and, and work as a unit to, to get the, what we need to do. Wow, wow. And I like what you said too, hearing different people speak about similar things, but in their own flavor, in their own way, really helps as, as a coach sometimes when I'm going in to do a training I say there's nothing new I can tell you but maybe I'll say it in a different way you'll hear it in a different way and something will click and then you'll get an action you know and make a change in your life and that's what's so unique about every human is you can format something to kind of hit the general population mm. but when we get to that point where we can actually present similar material in a little bit different perspective, when people hear that, all of a sudden you see a change in there and you go, they're getting it. Uh -huh. And that's what we're trying to present to the people to help them out with. Isn't that beautiful? That was beautiful. I wish the conference was today. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we heard after the first conference that we did last year was how beautiful it was. And it's because of these beautiful, beautiful speakers that we, we bring into the conference. We yes. have a good lineup of speakers again for this uh, upcoming one, for the yes. second one. Yes, don't I, don't we all know, I was gonna say, don't I know, don't we know Alan Jameson, one of our own, who's an elder of the Wolf Clan Cayuga Nation. He is going to be opening your uh, conference. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, Alan, uh, uh, as you said, Alan is an elder of the Cayuga Nation and he will be opening the conference. Uh, that'll be on uh, the first uh, morning of the conference, uh, Saturday, August 29th. 
uh, at 6 a.m. and he'll be doing a sunrise tobacco ceremony, actually facilitating that wow. uh, to bring the conference into a sacred space. And uh, that ceremony will be held on traditional Cayuga land near Lewiston, New York. Wow. Uh, check our conference website, www.ecospiritconference.com, and we'll give you the exact location and directions. Yes. Yeah. That, that's really important that you that you <coughs> visit the websites, that you uh, look on Facebook, because all the information is on there. Your website is jam-packed already, mm -hmm. and it's got such beautiful uh, descriptions and pictures of all those who are going to be serving over the weekend. It's really a great uh, informational spot. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then we also have a, um, I'd like to mention another speaker who yes. uh, is actually uh, coming in from New Mexico. His name is Clifford Mahuti. We're flying him in, we're happy to have him. He's an elder of the Zuni uh, uh, nation of New Mexico and a member of the uh, Kachina Society. Uh, Clifford is an interesting man. Uh, he has appeared on numerous episodes of the History Channel's Ancient Aliens. I saw that, that's so <laughs> interesting. I can't wait to hear him speak. Oh, uh, he's, he's very interesting and a lot of fun and very down to earth. Uh, and, and speaking of that, he's also appeared on the History Channel's America Unearthed. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so. And you are uh, flying him in so that we get a chance to see him up close and personal. Up close and personal. He'll be doing a lecture, he'll be doing workshops, and you can mingle, you can talk with him, you can have conversations with him. Wow. We want participants to be a part of this, and the speakers want everyone who attends to really participate with them. This is wow. interactive. Well, that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. So, we'll, so the, there'll be times when they're speaking, but times for workshops when you can have some interaction. Before we go to the, the next speaker too, tell us a little bit how that will run. This is a good segue for into that. Sure, yeah. What we'll be doing is, uh, actually we're gonna have a jam-packed schedule. And the, uh, the real uh, reason for that is to uh, provide as much diversity in the scheduling uh, with the speakers, with the topics there. They'll be speaking about as much diversity as possible. And really, there'll be something of interest to everybody out there at this conference. We'll have lectures going uh, um, all the time. And simultaneously with those lectures, we'll also have uh, speakers who are not lecturing at that time doing workshops for people. Nice. So come listen to a lecture. If you like that speaker, you like that lecture, sign up later for the workshop that speaker will be doing where you'll get uh, the information more up close and personal. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So they get to have this whole menu of speakers and workshops and decide where you want to go. Exactly. I'm just wondering, is there yep. somewhere to take a nap after the 6 a.m. tobacco <laughs> sunrise <laughs> service? Because I know last year, last year was so amazing. I didn't want to miss one minute because there were so many wonderful speakers. But where can we go to, to rest <laughs> in between? <laughs> no, we want you to get right back to the conference <laughs> location and get in for that first lecture. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in between, like lunchtime, is there like a oh. corner to go and rest a little? Well, Mike's laughing. He knows. It's oh, like yeah. these, well, these are like yeah. long days. <laughs> they, are, they are long days, but they're well worth it. The, the energy that the people bring into it, and, and that's what fuels us, that we see that energy and we feel their response. And that's when we say, this is what we really need more of. And we need the children, get the children on board because this is what we refer to as that next generation. And if we start imparting this information to them early in life, they'll carry that right through and that mm. let them know it's their responsibility as they're growing up for that next generation. And we're, what better than a, a beautiful platform to do this? Because while we're talking and I'm hearing you say these things, I'm thinking of our children today. They're so glued to those electronics and family oh. dinners are almost a thing of the past for so many people. And we're losing that, um, you know, I, I know I'm not from the native tradition, but even my family had, uh, uh, you know, time together for, um, you know, stories and dinners, and so this is a beautiful place to do this. Yeah, we want to bring things back and kind of leave the disconnect stuff outside and, and present it in that manner, which 
includes all of us. And by including everyone, they see it and they feel it. And they mm. go, wow, I was a part of that. And they can look back at it and say, actually, I attended that. That was really a great event. And it, it'll stick with them for life. Wow, that's beautiful. You know, this is a good place to stop. We're about halfway through so that I can bring you your Health Matters tip for this segment. And don't go away because we'll be right back because there's lots more information you'll want to know about. Want to drive me crazy? Tell me that you're bored or you have nothing to do. There are so many wonderful groups in Western New York that you could plug into that will help to support you in your holistic lifestyle. There's a holistic alliance, the vegan potluck, the raw food potluck, so many wonderful events and expos. And if you are a business, there's a holistic chamber of commerce who has chapters throughout the United States and now one here right in Western New York. So excuses be gone. Get busy, get proactive, get some support to help you lead a healthy, holistic lifestyle. Now talking about being proactive and getting into action, be sure that you're following us on Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and YouTube and visiting the website so that you won't miss all of this great information. And Mike, I think you're going to tell us now about one of the other speakers. Right. We've gone across the country now and have heard a little bit from those other perspectives. We're going to bring it back to the local area. It's a, a man who I've known for about 20 years. He lives in Attica, New York. He's done research with the turtles, and this brings it back into our area now. So we're going to hear from his research what his findings are over the last 20 years of how the turtles are telling us what's going on with our water. Mm. And this is stuff that you won't hear or see anywhere else. And his numbers are, they're, they're not skewed. This is exactly what he's finding. And when people come in and find out that there's more work that we need to do, John Volpe is the man that I regard to as our local expert on the local waters outside of the Great Lakes. But it's all of our responsibility to know what's going on in that next yard or in the next farm around us. So he has a lot of these informations that will be made available. And I've heard him speak. I've heard him speak before. He's got a powerful, powerful story and powerful education to help us to understand better and, and hopefully motivate you to get into action. Yeah. Yep. Continuing onward, I know we have, we've talked about three, we don't have time to talk about all of them, but I know there's several more. Many more speakers and in fact, uh, this conference is uh, for me an ongoing labor of love. Uh. More and more people are contacting me all the time. We're adding more and more speakers to the list, but we already have many more speakers. To find out about them, you need to go to the conference website www.ecospiritconference.com. Because all the information is on there, information about the speakers, information about the workshops, information about how people can be involved, how they can maybe even help sponsor and get involved with, with, the, uh, with the conference. And, and what better place to have it but in Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is, there's lots of areas where we, the native influence, boy, if you don't know now, I don't know what to say, but the native influence over all of Western New York is so profound, and especially in Niagara Falls. Yeah, the legends and, and the history attached to that really state clearly that it's a sacred place. And it's in tourism, they just love it. This is, this is one of the, the greatest places, and it's right in our backyard. So, what else, as we're coming to the, the last several minutes of our show, what else would you like to be sure that um, people know and hear about? Did you want to give that? Yeah, what we'd like to do is, is give people the opportunity to learn what these old ways are, these ways that are talked about in the prophecy. We're saying we can go back to those old ways those were the ways that people were meant to live on earth. And 
if we do want clean air to breathe and pure water to drink and nutritious food to eat, we need to do the work to make the changes, to go back to that old way, that simple way, that way of reverence for the earth. Because <laughs> every single person can make a difference, but it starts with making one change. Oh my goodness, how many times have you heard me say this? Do one thing, one thing to make a, a difference, to make a change, and then you'll follow the next, and the next, and the next. I started this path in, in I would say, mid, early to mid 80s. And I didn't just wake up one day and change my life in one moment. It was learning and going to conferences like this and studying and make a change. And I know you have a beautiful quote that you want to read that will kind of tie this all in together. So why don't you read that for us? I'd like to read this because I think it really uh, illustrates the Native American perspective and uh, what are these old ways that I've been talking about. And this quote comes from an Oglala chief named Luther Standing Bear. He lived from 1868 until 1939, and this is the perspective he gave us about the old ways. He said, uh, from Wakantanka, the great spirit, there came a great unifying life force that flowed in and through all things. The flowers of the plains, the blowing winds, rocks, trees, birds, animals, and was the same force that had been breathed into the first man. <clears throat> Thus all things were kindred and were brought together by the same great mystery. That is really one, I think, good way to illustrate the Native American perspective. And it's the Native American perspective, this perspective, that our uh, speakers at the Eco Spirit Environmental Conference will be teaching and talking about. And this is the opportunity to learn. And I love what you said too, that you want to hear people's input, you want to know how they feel, and they can reach you through your website so that they can even give you input as we're leading up to the event. Because what was so wonderful about this is that you're here early in the season to start Let's Talking About It. We're going to keep replaying this show, and if you missed it or you're tuning in right now, you can go back to uh, YouTube to rewatch it, and, and where I post it all over on social media as well. And Mike, I know you have something else to share with us. I could just There's feel it. There's one more thing that I've been sharing with people in the, just the recent past, and that is if we want to get in touch with our spiritual component in this life, we, we don't have to do it on a dirt floor. You don't have to do it in a teepee. We can still make these connections and enjoy the conveniences of this life, but we need to be responsible and help those that are working or providing these services mm. to understand how we need them to be responsible with us. So we can still enjoy the modern conveniences of life, but be more responsible the way we do it. Wow, that's beautiful. And that ties into um, one of the other talking points that you have on here is that please take care of the, of the earth ahead of exploiting her resources to make profits. Yeah. And that is what's so sad. You know, the earth, I, I love my Native American family that talks about the earth is our mother. This is the earth, this is the earth that we live on and what we're doing to her is, is a crime, literally, really is a crime. It is. So this why conferences like this is so important. And yeah, it yes. will help us understand what we can actually do and show the things that say, this is how we can all make our, put a little effort into helping this environment stay restored, stay in its healthy condition. Because when that's healthy, we're healthy. Wow, that's beautiful. And we want everybody's participation. You know, there's gonna be a lot of vendors there as well, a lot of local vendors. So if you're watching and you're wondering how can I get involved, you can, again, go to the website and Facebook because I know you're going to have a lot of, uh, of our local uh, ground breakers and pave wavers and pave wavers, I've said that, pathfinders and help me out here, guys. <laughs> Waymakers. <laughs> Waymakers. Because <laughs> we have a lot of wonderful local organizations as we talked about. Everybody gets passionate about a different piece of it. And that's good because 
everybody, one person can make a difference. And then together, we make a huge difference. So all these local organizations will be there, hopefully. And if you haven't heard about it yet and you're watching today, you can be there too to share the information so that we could learn how to make a difference. Yeah, and that starts in the home. And that's why we want this to be not just as a formatted type of education, but to bring them into our home. This mm -hmm. is the way we can communicate and say, this is how we live. And it really is something that we can all share and say, we know these little, keeping in mind these little corrections or these little changes we make, when we all make them, it'll ah, make a big, big difference. That's beautiful. So I'm gonna put you on the spot. Give us your, this is an informational and educational program. So what is your best tip that you can give people who are watching now? Tell them real quick. Well, I would say that if you have any interest at all, which you all should, then bring your kids, bring everybody in the family, and there's gonna be something for everyone to take back with them and they will appreciate that they had this opportunity. Thank you. You're up, Bill. <laughs> when, I didn't tell them I was gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> when each of us makes even the smallest contribution to this, together with our unity, we can make big changes happen. And it's a matter of unity, all of the same mind with the same goal. We want a cleaner environment. We can have it. All we need to do is work together. Thank you, and thank you for coming in and sharing so much beautiful information with us. I really appreciate you guys being here. I will be at that conference all weekend long, starting at 6 a.m., and I look forward to it. And I'm hoping to see you there too. And my tip for you today is when you're out to dinner and you're thinking about taking that uh, to go, what's ever left over, think of an alternative besides that, that styrofoam. Ask for aluminum foil or even the, the see-through uh, clear containers because they are recyclable. So keep watching, keep learning. Until next time, remember your health matters. Hi, I'm Kimberly Will from Mr. Frank's and I'm a proud sponsor of Health Matters and I am very motivated and inspired by all of the information that the show offers. Amherst Laser and Wellness is a proud sponsor of Health Matters. I'm Teresa Horab, registered nurse and owner of Amherst Laser and Wellness. We look forward to moving you in a healthier direction through our laser lipo and nutritional counseling. So follow us and continue to watch Health Matters on your journey to wellness. We want to thank Marge Reed from The Healing Spa. Marge is an ordained unity minister. She has her BA in complementary health and she's joined by her beautiful daughter, Gina, who is a registered nurse. Together they bring us the latest technology in stemmology, skin care, stem cell therapy, and holistic modalities for your body, mind, and spirit. Join Marge on Sunday mornings for her 11 a.m. service. Hi, I'm Anna Marie Sinatra from Sinatra Solutions, coach, trainer, and consultant, and host of Health Matters. Thank you for tuning in every week and watching the program and learning so many amazing things. And remember, if you want to re-watch it, you can watch it on YouTube and on Facebook. And if you'd like to be a, a guest on the show, please do email me and let me know because I'd love to interview you.